it's me, Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway, Cindy Lou Who. Look at that Dr. Seussical face. It's for me, girls on Broadway, it's Erica Henningsen. Hi! Erica. Tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. Well, we're on a beautiful West Side Highway, beautiful. gorgeous, and we're at a beautiful car wash. That has what, Erica? Donuts. Under West Donuts. Let's take a bite. Come with us. Erica, where are we? My home. I brought I brought you all to my home. This is like, this is really is. This is great. Make a wish. Like, come on. Yeah, this is. I this get is to all be in your home eating donuts with you. We were gonna like get in my bed and really get cozy, but there was some difficulty with the cameras. Easy. You know. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. You want to tell me your life story in that 30 seconds? Don't leave out the awesome parts. Starting now. All right. Um, I was born in California. I grew Ooh. up with three girls. Oh, I was one of those girls, so two girls plus me. This is going great. <laughs> this is going really well. Oh, I had like 15 seconds. Um, I really didn't excel at any sports, so if somehow I stumbled into this, this being singing, acting, dancing. Um, you have 10 seconds. Oh, no. Good Lord, child. Traveled my way across the United States, to, made a stop in Michigan with Ashley Park and Taylor Lauderman. Um, Life story, we got donuts this morning. That's the most recent thing I've done. Wow. You really didn't get any information in that. Super bonus. What's the name of that autobiography? Can I pet your dog? <laughs> <laughs> what the what is it like to star in Mean Girls on Broadway? <sighs> what the what is that really like? What the what? You know, I will say it, it's become in a great way what my day revolves around, because mm. it's, you know, it's it's a lot in the best possible way. But I also say that with love, because the cast has become family, that theater has become second home. You fart on each other yeah. a lot? Present, me the most. Are you farting on me now? Not on you, I don't, you <sighs> know, you, I'll like, give me like another day and then probably. Also it's insane because people love the show before we've even done anything. Like, yeah. like that's that will never happen again. We walk out and they're like, yeah, you're like brand recognition, right? And you're it's brand recognition, <laughs> and you're just like, but I, I could suck tonight, but you're already excited to be you here. You get carried along that pink wave mm -hmm. of success. Very it's pink wave. I love that it. Tina Fey just like paved for us. Thank you, Tina Fey. Um, yeah, bless Tina Fey. What the what is your deal with stopping people on the street to pet their dogs? Oh, I have like a three-step approach. Oh. Well, so first of all. Patented three-step approach. Yeah. You have to let them know that it's coming before you're like on top of them. Okay. So you see the dog yeah. and you go, <gasps> you so make. You, from a distance, yeah. you send out an alert. You send an alert. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is like, you send out an alert and then you, you gauge their response. And if they're like, no, shut it down, you respect that. You move on. But if The dog or the owner? Both. Both. Okay. And then if they're both kind of like, oh, hey, then you get close and you always start with a compliment. And you just tell the person you have a beautiful dog, what's her, his name. So you start the, you start the conversation, there's no choice. And, and, then then you, and then you reach down to pet. You just go for it. What the what is up with your ability to freestyle? <laughs> what do you want to tell me about that? I mean, can you drop a beat? When I was in school, I thought it was cool to take some time to make a rhyme. So at parties with all my friends, I went to the end of the line. And they'd drop a beat, and we'd stamp our feet. And all together, we'd climb to the top of a mountain that was built on words. It was fun with lots of <laughs> turds, turds, turds. Got it. No, it continues. We laid into the same thing. You're so good. This is. The cinnamon? The cinnamon's great because it's like salty and sweet. There's like a little bit of salt that they put and on it. And also it covers your lip gloss. It's beautiful. I bet that you performed in a talent show or two back in the day. Sure. Can you just uh, favor me with a little bit of an act that you did in a talent show? Hard hitting journalism. I did um, the routine from the Spice Girls song, Stop. And I believe I did it with my sisters. And if I didn't perform it with them, we definitely rehearsed it together. And I, I remember some of it, and I'm pretty sure it was like 
stop right now thank you very much i need somebody with the human touch hey you always on the run gotta slow it down baby got have some fun whoa, 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 it is in your body it's in my body the first song i remember singing as a child was when the sky is a bright canary yellow I forget every cloud I've ever seen. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, but it sounded more like cockeyed optimist. You know, <laughs> very like Annie, very forward placement. What's the first album, CD, tape, A <laughs> track that I ever bought with my own money? In sync. Yeah, answer and song. Amazing. Answer and song. Thank God it's Friday night, and I just, 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 just got paid. My go-to audition song is. You don't own me. Oh. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. No, no, no. I don't remember the words. <laughs> so what goes after but that? But she booked the Mean Girls earworm that I can't get out of my. Suck my head every day. It's a revenge party, a party that ends with somebody's head on a spike, like so dark. Just like loops in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's also like what we use in our ads. Like if anything pops up from the show, that's what happens. It's it's stuck in my head. The song from Mean Girls that I love singing. Right now though. You are so real, you are so rare. I see you there, I see you. I see stars, so many stars tonight. Yeah, I just love it. You very rarely get to sing to your whole cast That's in awesome. a show, so I like that song. Name of the game is special skills. You got any special skills at the bottom of your resume? Um, Come on. I mean, I, I got. I, don't f with me. I won't f with you, but I don't want her to take it offensively. But I was obsessed with the Sunday in the Park with George thing. Um, and I just love when Bernadette like turns forward and she goes, We do not belong together, and we should not belong together. Like it hurts me to do, and yet she did it eight times a week. God or no God? God. What happens when you die? We become nature, we become the plants. What was your most memorable Halloween costume? The sun made raisin girl, the girl on the cover of the raisin box. <laughs> My mom made it for me. I handed out raisins instead of candy. Boo. <laughs> if you were a book, what section of the bookstore would you live in? Uh, historical fiction. What's your purpose in life? To live truthfully. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, or Tony? Oscar. Cake or pie? That's my girl. Guess what time it is? What time? It's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. I have your tiny little Cindy Lou Who Knows, and you can have it back. But first, you have to sing me a song of your choosing. Okay. My favorite song. Sing it. Slow down, you crazy child. Yes. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. But then if you're so smart, then tell me why you're still so afraid. Mm -hmm. Where's the fire? What's the hurry about? Oh. You better cool it off before you burn it out. You got so much to do. This has been another so amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell mm -hmm. with Erica Henningsen. Go see her you in Mean Girls on Broadway. You will not regret it. You can get what you want or you can just get all sing with me. Get off before you even get halfway through. Mm -hmm. When will you realize? Vienna waits for you. I got it back. You always had it. <laughs> All along. You have a pre-show song on Sunday? Yeah, it's like a little denominational, but like we're not, it's like a Sunday song. It's like a church day what, song. What the, what is that song? Okay, we get we into a circle. Okay. And we go, we made this up one day. Great. Grant, again, Mean Girls, non-denominational, but yes. for whatever reason, yep. on Sunday, we go, 
It's God's day, you're on Broadway. Shout out to the Lord and rejoice, rejoice, rejoice.